Hello guys, Killbot27 here, and I'm going to be showing you how to get the Dreamcast emulator. Now you'll see I have these four tabs open. I'll leave links in the description for these tabs so that you know where to go. Okay, first of all, you're going to want you want to go to the emulator zone, then go to the Sega Dreamcast. Duh. Anyways, and then you first of all you're going to get the Chankist. It's an old VC, but you have to have the Chankist for what I'm doing. You know, you'll understand what I'm doing later. Um, no VC. And now we need to get this one, not the Naomi. I have no clue what the Naomi edition is anyways. Okay, so once you have those, you're going to want to go to this. It's S12 and VisionFree.com, pure Nintendo RT216HTM. And you're probably freaking out saying, oh no, it's Inten Nintendo. No. No. You have to get DC BIOS and DC Flash. Now you're probably thinking that you need to boot. That's the same thing. This is DC boot. After that, you're going to want to go to this website, the DLLfiles.com. It's, it's in the index. It's the blah, blah, whatever. So D3DX9 underscore 37. You're going to need this. And do not get this. Just get the zip file. Because you're only getting one file out of there. Okay. Now we can go on our downloads. And we have all this crap. All right, first of all, we're going to make a new folder. And we are going to call it... Um, Dreamcast. All right, so we do need to extract this. We need we need to extract this into there. So that's that. And now we need to extract the chankist. Alright, now whenever you go into Chankist, all you're going to do is drag the VMS browser over here. And then you're going to delete Chankist. Chankist is not need, it's not needed anymore. You can just delete the entire thing. It doesn't matter anymore. We've already done this. I'm going to keep this clear so that um, you can actually see everything. Okay. Now, you're going to go to Data. And you're going to put all these in here. Okay, and you need to rename this DC underscore boot. Now, now that all that's in there, it should be able to run properly. See? And now you do a, well, actually first before I run, I want to show you the fourth website, Cool Roam. I get most of my games from here, and all you have to do is go to Roam Files, go to Sega Dreamcast, and you can just get whatever. But you have to know how to use a, use a registry to do anything on here. So basically, I keep all my files in a folder called Roams on my desktop. So let me show you how you would set that up. Um, you do file normal boot. All right, now C, you're going to do users, whatever your username is. And then you just have to keep typing in the registry. And let's say I want to play Power Stone, which you've probably seen me play before. It's a CDI file. And yes, you actually do have to type in what kind of file it is. All Dreamcast files are either going to be GDI or CDI. Alright, now you probably can't see anything right now because it has to do an initial boot and it's glitching out because of the folder thing. Hold on. It does that sometimes. Alright. It's it works fine. It's just gotta load up. And you'll hear the Dreamcast thing playing, but this is still gonna be popping up. And yes, this is not normal, but it does this for the first time because it's just setting up your emulator. It actually wants you to enter the date and whatnot, so you have to wait for it and then it'll pop up in a minute. There it is. All right. None of that matters. Oh, and if you want to set up the controls, you go to options, Maple. These are your four ports for the controllers. I'm gonna configure my keys. Analog up, analog left, analog right, analog down. Digital, 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 digital.
Uh, normally it doesn't run this slow. I have never seen it run this slow before. It's probably because I'm recording, but yeah, that's how you make. Well, that's not how you make. That's how you get a Dreamcast emulator. Pretty simple. I don't see why it's so complicating and everything like that for everybody. But comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.